Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Memory Jar. This card has an interesting history and I do remember it because I opened one and back in the day if you opened a card and they got banned, you could send that card in, you would have to pay for postage yourself and receive a booster pack directly from Wizards of the Coast of that same pack. So in this case you would get an Urza's Legacy booster pack which is probably still worth more than the $15. I don't know, it's prob it's very close, but the time once Memory Jar was banned from play, the price was down to a dollar or two, and there was that real opportunity. This was before the internet really developed and eBay was eBay. I was still using Yahoo's version of eBay, which luckily I didn't invest in that stock because that are in Yahoo in general, but um, I was using Yahoo version of eBay and you would see these at 99 cents. So there, there was the opportunity to buy these and then just send them into, you know, in a big package to Wizard of the Coast and have them ship. You wouldn't send it one by one because shipping is expensive and that's one of the things that, and it's annoying and it's time consuming. It's one of the things that I've talked about when MTG Finance is like, oh, I've accumulated 150 copies of this card. Unless the copy is in a commander deck or something like that, I don't believe you've done so because it's very difficult accumulating 150 copies of something like Sahili Ra. Like after I accumulate 25, I just give up because it's too difficult to worry about. Anyway, this card went from $2.92 to $15.19 and it's currently spiking. Obviously one of the strongest artifacts. If the card is banned, it's very good. And I'm saying that because of Smuggler's Copter. I've, I've been playing Magic Duels, and Smuggler's Copter is so OP in that form. Like, it's, it needs to be banned in Magic Duels, because the problem with Magic Duels is the power level is much less. But because Smuggler's Copter is so good, and the power level is diminished, it's just whoever gets Smuggler's Copter out first wins the game. And that's my experience. Uh, for Magic Duels, and I don't think that's unique. Anyway, Memory Jar, super strong card. If you got it in 2013, um, just looks like uh, four years ago. If this was a long-term four-year investment, you would have done extremely well. The other key thing to note about this card, it is on the reserve list. So I'll repeat that again. This card is on the reserve list. So Urza Legacy, they were still doing the stupid reserve list things during that time. But yeah, it's limited copies, <laughs> mainly because I feel like some people actually sent their memory jars or they traded at their locals and accumulated a lot of them and then shipped them out at the same time and then got a ton of Urza's Legacy Booster Packs. It does get a reprint from the Vault Relics. So I know a lot of you are asking, hey, this is on the reserve list. How did it get reprinted? Wow, that is a curious story indeed. So this card is interesting on many fronts. The, the, the issue isn't that they cannot reprint cards on the reserve list. Uh, they can and they will, but I don't know why they don't do that. Anyway, uh, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.